you have put in some very, very good work, hard work, and it's gone noticed. It is being noticed. So what's the reward? Peace and harmony. Hey everybody. I hope everybody's doing well. Welcome to my channel, Cherish Daily Media. Um, I'm going to do a weekend steamer. Yes, yes, yes. The last reading was um, for the Lionsgate portal. We're kind of moving out of that energy and into um, into the rest of the month. Uh, let's see. There is... A... Pause. I'm getting ahead of myself. Um, if you're new, uh, welcome. We're seekers of um, insights from our spiritual guides, encouragement and guidance from our spiritual team. So, um, you know, if you rock with that kind of thing, you might, you know, you might like it here. Um, if you're returning, welcome back. Um, I, I really appreciate you. Uh, let's see. Um, okay, so back on track. It's, uh, it's August 13th. So this is for, let's do it for the weekend. Let's just see what's going on for the weekend. Um, the 13th, 14th, 15th, um, the moon is, it's a waxing crescent. I looked up some information so that we can kind of get an idea of um, what the energies are going, going to be like, you know, that's gonna show up probably in this reading. Um, so we have a waxing crescent and the moon is in Libra and it's gonna be moving into Scorpio. So there's some things that you wanna make sure that you're careful of. Just make sure that you're taking care of your body. As I said in the Lionsgate reading, you wanna make sure that you're not focused on your lower chakras, but you wanna make sure that, they, that you keep them balanced. And um, what, I, what I read with the moon being in um, Libra, you don't want to have surgeries around this time, so you know, take that as you as you may. Um, you know, you got to do what you got to do. But uh, let's see what else. What else? What else? Put my glasses on. I did make notes this time. Uh, courage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So with this energy, um, you may be in a situation where you want to move, um, move forward, move forward with um, with your family. Now, Libra is that uh that sign of like partnership togetherness wanting things to be fair and balanced you know that uh justice card the the you know the scales of justice you're you're probably wanting to keep things cordial and um maybe being extra nice so that you don't upset the apple cart but um just make sure that you're sta standing your ground if uh, you know if you're needing to confront situations, just don't go off the handle. Uh, let's see what else I made. Something, some other notes. Okay, need for balance and harmony. Yeah, so that's kind of like a continuation from the Lionsgate portal um, reading. So we'll see. Let's see what else. Happy birthday to the Leos. The sun is still in Leo, so um, y'all are probably getting that strong you know I can do anything I'm beautiful I'm strong I'm healthy uh, kind of energy so yeah I love it I love it I love it let me think I think that's it um, I, I have a promo I have a promo for the lion's gate I'm gonna extend it all the way out to the end of the month so um, it's $99 um, it, it's a full intuitive reading um, go to my website the queen of wands tarot uh, dot com and um go to the book or schedule a reading um tab and there's a form to fill out it's very very easy um at this point and i'll get right to it so yeah let's go ahead and get into it right let's call in our team angels of love and light spirit of the most high our higher selves Give us a message, a message for the collective. Anyone who wants to sit in on this, this message is for them. Give us some insights. 
some things that we might need to acknowledge, things that we might not see coming for our highest good. Help me to see clearly. Help me to hear clearly and speak clearly. <laughs> A message for the collective. Thank you, spirit. All right, I think that's it right there. One more. All right, y'all tell me what's going on for the weekend. Y'all doing all right? Y'all staying safe? That's uh, a lot of shifting energies going on, right? I was kind of looking forward to this weekend steamer. I'm so interested. <laughs> I am so interested because let me tell y'all, I have been extra, extra, extra nosy this week. Oh my goodness, I have. Okay, we have two cards. All right, some new energies coming in. This is the Ace of Wands. So Aces are gifts from the divine. Um, it's like birth, birthing something new. Look at the fire, the flame that's um, resting on her forehead. This is the pineal gland, right? This is where our pineal or, you know, where in this region of our brain. And um, it's, there's no mistake that does look like a womb. It does look like a vagina because what happens is we birth ideas, we birth inspiration, anything that is creative and new um, comes from that inspiration, that fire. So this is a gift from the divine. Uh, so, you know, perhaps you've gone through a cycle and you're coming to the end or you have come to the end and you're looking forward to this. Now, <sighs> I hate to put a negative spin on this, but I do have to, you know, rush and tell you it, it's fun, you know, it's fun when you're creating the, the thing, but it's hard birthing the thing out, right? It is very, very hard going through labor. Take it from a mother. <laughs> okay. So just, just understand that there's that that joy and that excitement that comes with birthing something into the world, but there is the pain of getting through the labor. The labor doesn't last forever. So just make sure that you're um, staying focused and keep in mind, this is a minor arcana. So it's just something that's passing through. It's something that has to be um, nurtured. And just like any fire, it needs, um, what is it called? Oh my gosh, it's, it's not in my head. What is wood? What is oil? What is that stuff called? <laughs> Somebody out here, tell me, what is it? Um, fuel. <laughs> you need fuel to keep that fire burning. And um, oftentimes what happens is we lose our inspiration because we get knocked down or we aren't, um, it doesn't seem like our ideas or ourselves, we ourselves are being supported. And so sometimes that fire, if it's not kept, it'll go out, you know? And, you know, kind of think about it. Think about it in relation to, you know, the way the weekend steamers have been playing out. Um, we've been seeing a lot of family stuff, a lot of uh, joining of, of, of homes, businesses being started and those are wonderful things what i'm cautioning here is that those things have to be maintained you know what i mean you don't want to leave it and just expect it to keep burning on its own so what the challenge is is the seven of pentacles this is taking an assessment of what is going on. I mean, really taking a serious look at what's happening as if your life depends on it, you know? So here, if you look at it, we have a man here 
he's by himself. It's not, you know, a group effort. This is you taking the time to examine what you've planted. And this isn't, you know, okay, I'll just take a minute to do it. It's really taking the time to think about what's been put in the ground and asking yourself if what has what you see is really what you have been expecting. You know, did you plant the right seeds? Are are the um, you know the crops that have come up are they really what you want? Oh, this is so interesting. Never quite looked at it like this, but I wonder if you can see it. Look at his hand, right? He's not touching the plant at all, but look at what's coming from his, his hand. There's this light. It's like energy. It's this golden light that's coming from um, his hand or from the plant, but there's a connection here. It's like some invisible force that's happening. There's a connection between the person and the work, you know, the plant, the, the thing. This is important. This is very, very important to understand because there are things that we do that we are always conscious of. And those things that we do that we're not conscious of, they make things happen. So we're magical creatures. We are magical beings. All of us are. Everything, everything that has life has some sort of energy that we put into, you know, everything. And so without realizing what we're doing, we could be damaging our, our crops. And so I think that's why this is coming up in the challenge position because perhaps you've been working you've been putting in the work and you've had this inspiration and you feel really good about it but you hadn't taken the time to put it into your mind to check it check and make sure that the work that you're doing is you know really effective and that you're really tending to this gift that you've been given so anyway, that's that's the challenge for what's happening, right? And this seven of pentacles, although this ace of wands is, <clears throat> is like a new thing, it's something new, it doesn't necessarily mean that the whole thing is new. It just means that there's something, a, a new aspect, a new whatever, and that it's probably something that's been going on for a while because this is the seven of pentacles. It's not something new. It's a continuation of something. And you're in the season of, you know, we're almost, it's almost time to uh, harvest what's going, you know, what I've put into the ground. So be mindful of that. Be mindful of, be mindful of, you know, the, the work that you've been doing. Oh, this is another gift. Okay. So you have the Ace of Swords here. This is uh, something else that's new. Um, the Swords talk about your, your communication, your thought process. So something new that's coming in, um, it, not just that you're inspired by, but something that's really gonna change your thought process. Something that's gonna have you looking at things a little bit deeper, a little bit different. Um, something that's going to give um, a little more color to to the way that you do things. You know, it's like a program. Um, if you input, <clears throat> if you if you okay, so <laughs> I edit videos, right? I I edit content a lot, and I use a lot of different programs. Well. Every program gives you, every program that I use, gives you a free version, but then they also give you a version that you can buy. So when you buy that, um, when you buy the, the whole thing, it opens up new codes that allows you to do new things. And so that's what this is like. You've been running on a certain program, but now, you know, you've paid for something. 
right? You're, you're moving into um, the big leagues now. <laughs> and with that, it just, you might be familiar with what you're doing, but there's a, another level of, um, another level to it, which will be helpful to you. All right, yeah, yeah. So you're waiting for your ships to come in. This is the Three of Wands. The Three of Wands really talks about action. Taking action, you've taken action. You know, just recently you've taken action on a thing and that is what's bringing, making this new thing new. So um, you've done, you know, you've been inspired. You're, there is a little bit of like, I don't know, reversals, but it's okay because it's, it's kind of telling a story. So you've been, like I'm saying about the seven of pentacles, you've been working on something and you're waiting for your ships to come in. You're expecting something to come in. But what's happening is you're kind of like sitting on your hands waiting. And um, I guess it's not coming fast enough for you. This is the four of, four of cups. You're just kind of over something. You're bored. It's just, it's not as exciting as it was before. So going back to what I said about stoking that fire, that fire, if you're, <laughs> I'm thinking about like camping out. If you have um, if you have logs in the fire, and that fire is kind of going out, and you hadn't put any new wood on there, and it's the wood that's in there is like black, <laughs> and you know it's hot and everything, but it's just kind of spent. You might want to put some more logs on there, so what's happening is yeah it's still warm it's still putting out heat but there's no roaring fire there's no flames there there it's just all in the wood and pretty soon all of the heat is going to go away because that what's there is going to be consumed so you have to continue to feed this fire in order to keep the flame alive and um you know in practical terms if you're starting something that you're passionate about, what often happens is there are distractions in the way that keeps you from focusing on the thing that you're supposed to focus on. And so, it, you know, it'll push you into a place of being unbalanced. It'll push you into a place of um, lethargy, just not, not really you know interested anymore so find your why understand what um what you're dealing with examine examine everything really you know because if it's important to you if it's important to you you're going to want to make sure that everything is is you know in its right place everything is is good if it's a plant you know if it's not getting enough sun you want to make sure that you move it to the sun or a sunnier spot you want to prune you, you see what i'm saying feed it water it and things like that so that so that your you know that your baby grows how many different analogies did i just use all right that's too many but um the fool came out Six of Wands, Seven of Swords, Page of Pentacles, the Empress, and the King of Cups. Oh, and the Ten of Cups over there. All right, let's let's put those back in there and keep going. So really, hmm. like a waiting game okay again all right it's like the guides are being cheeky nine of wands uh fell out it's like the standing your ground being uh resilient strong six of swords knight of wands knight of cups seven of cups ace of pentacles queen of wands Queen of Pentacles, Two of Pentacles, 
five of wands, the lovers, ooh, and the hangman. Oh my goodness, y'all. Okay, so that's a little story right there. I, I'm not gonna flesh all of that out. I'm not, I'm not gonna flesh all of that out. And that's funny, the Eight of Wands was in the deck upside down. So this is like a lot of communication, you know, fast moving communication. Make sure that you're being uh, careful with your words. You know, don't, don't, say, don't say things that you might regret. Um, hmm. So, 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 so. All right, so it looks like some of you might be moving away from something that's a little toxic, something that's just um, not, bring, that's bringing drama, unnecessary drama, and that's been a theme, y'all. That's been a theme in our readings here. So um, I know that, you know, it's a process. Things play out and, you know, you're examining things right now. So this is the Six of Swords. Something that has been upsetting, my ears are ringing, ringing. Um, something that has been upsetting and in your examination, you're probably going to um, see something that makes you want to move away from anything that does not bring you satisfaction, joy, that brings you mental anguish, makes you, you know, feel insecure and things like that. Um, that has you in your head. Now, last week's, or the Lionsgate portal, when was that? It's another little stack. Um, I feel like it was just earlier this week, but I don't know, I'm, I'm all out of time. Or like my, my time frame is iffy. <laughs> but I do remember that the outcome card was the moon card. And the moon is like illusions, things that are hidden, that needs to come to the surface, unaddressed traumas and issues, you know? So this six of, uh, six of swords energy could be that whatever those things that were hidden that may have come out, um, and even in this, the seven of uh, pentacles energy, you're finding some things out that just are not very, okay, that are not <laughs> what they seem to be. All right, so the sun, this is optimism. So it's like, ding, 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 my ear was ringing. Yeah, so some things have not been on the up and up. That it's just been like an illusion, a, a, an elaborate, um, I, I won't say all that, but it's, it, things have not been what they have been, have been shown to be. And the most high is shining the light on things because if you're walking in concert with the most high, with your guides and you're being true to yourself, true um, to what who you are and what you're supposed to be doing, the most high is not going to let you um, wander into something that's not for your good. That doesn't mean that, uh, you know, you won't have uncomfortable situations. That's not it at all, because uncomfortable situations help you to grow. They do. They help you to grow. So the sun card judgment that was i think that was in the um last reading as well a new change eight of cups walking away seven of wands standing your ground the devil something toxic six of pentacles this is <laughs> the most high being generous to you giving you that extra push to you know do what you need to do and you're gonna have victory. Six of six of wands. All right, let's put those back in, and let's uh, let's keep going. See what your energy is influencing this. See how your how your energy is um, working in all of this stuff.
this six of swords This Six of Swords is really, really interesting because one, two, three. I'm only seeing what could be three swords here, which is really interesting. It's different because on, you know, the traditional cards, the Six of Swords would show six swords somewhere. But here we only see three. And this tells me that there's, I mean, the three of swords, that's that heartbreak card. So something that might be just really tugging at your heart. And uh, mm, I don't know. Y'all tell me <laughs> what's going on. Uh, couple of comments told me about some breakups and things like that but there's some there's been some really really positive um feedback as well so i know that this isn't all bad and i know that all of this will not um, resonate with everyone and that's okay you know it's really okay if you are in a situation where you're being mistreated i can't tell you what to do but Consider your, your health and safety, okay? That's kind of what I'm talking about when I, when I say make sure that you're keeping your lower chakras, your root chakra balanced. You have to be safe, you have to be secure and faking yourself out to believe that a toxic or devastating or even stifling situation is okay to stay in it's really not. So that could be why this is a challenge. You really do have to do some, some self-examination and some examinations of your situation because you're going into something new and you're having to look at things with these new and fresh eyes. You have a new mind and don't fall asleep. Stay present learn these new things you, you know what i mean don't ignore any of the information because it's all relevant it's all useful <laughs> you might hear some things that you really don't want to hear or you might think that it's not important but everything is important and i promise you this is something that i feel like a lot of us tend to uh, a lot of us tend to not value the small things in our life and we we tend to push things off but everything that you are introduced to whether it be on social media whether it be on the tv shows that you watch um, conversations that you are having with people all of it counts even the, even the smallest, most mundane conversations that you might have, they all are there for a reason, something to teach you something. So if you stop the book and say, oh, this is just stupid and I have no reason uh, to put my thoughts in this, this is beneath me, then you're not really being grateful because it's a gift. It is every every gift starts with a seed and if you're interested in having bigger gifts you have to appreciate the ones that you have or else you'll ruin the things that you <laughs> that you have and the things that you will get oh my goodness look that huge stack that wants to fall it's not happening okay let's keep going let's get one card one card for um for the good people's energy one card, one card. There was a time that I thought that I could do these readings in five minutes. <laughs> I 
I find it difficult to, I find it difficult to take parts of these long videos, shorten them down to one minute now, three minutes. Okay, so your energy is the Knight of Pentacles. I love this night. I do. I absolutely love this night because um, it kind of goes against my um, my natural way of being. <laughs> I'm kind of impulsive. I'm a fire sign. I'm a, a an Aries, and you know I like to. I get an idea, and I'm like, poof! I'm ready. Yes. But this night is not that way. This night takes time, um, takes his or her time, takes um, account of every little thing. And um, not necessarily in judgment as, you know, this is good, this is bad, but learning where to put the things in place. It's like, okay, so check it out. Oh God, I love this so much. I love this card just check out his his whole demeanor right he's walking in the grass with his horse he's not on the horse he's walking in front of the horse he has his shoes off it's just it's just one of those days he's taking in the energies and this is earth energy so this kind of goes back to what i was saying about grounding making sure that your um, root chakra is in balance so all of this energy this earth energy the lower chakra energies, it's really about being, you know, in the moment, present. You know, this is a table. This is a scarf on the table. That's a phone with a camera that's looking at me. You see what I'm doing? I'm taking notice of all of the things that I can see around me. I'm feeling the, the air on my skin. I can actually feel it. I'm looking at the incense smoke rising. This is being present in the moment. And I can take that even further and feel my body, the insides of my body. I can hear the, the thoughts that's going through my mind. I, that translates into sound. Um, I can determine what's going on with my eyes. You know, I can barely see, but... <laughs> I'm even taking notice of that. So with this Knight of Pentacles energy, that's what, that's the energy that you are embodying right now, right? So it's, it's, it's very good. It's very good energy. It's positive energy. It's the energy that you need to get out of this, this uh, stupor, you know, this boredom or disappointment um, you could even just be waiting around. It doesn't have to be like this negative energy. It can just be that you're waiting for something you are. You're waiting for your ships to come in. You're waiting for that, that the work that you've been putting in, you're waiting to see it come. You know, it's like <laughs> you've ordered something from, you know, wherever you order things from and you're just waiting for them to come. Now, I'm a little bit different because if I order something, I totally forget about it. I don't think about it <laughs> because I don't want to have those anxious moments like, why didn't it show up? <laughs> when is it going to get here? Yeah. So, all right. So somebody in your environment, I think this is, this is you. If it's not you, it's somebody in your environment that is standing their ground. Um, they are taking taking time to, um, I guess it's not really taking time, it's just what they're doing. Or they see that you are firm on your convictions, which you should be. You should be very firm on your convictions because you've already put something in into play. And the most high is with you giving you inspiration and you want to be appreciative of of everything that you've been given and so why wouldn't you stand on that you know you have to stay firm on what you believe on what you're doing and you want that same thing for anybody that's in your life that is 
influencing you or um, taking any of your time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you want to start something fresh. You're ready for this. This is um, a leap of faith, uh, going on a new journey. This is the beginning. So something may have come to an end, or this is what you're wanting, really. You're just wanting to start a, a fresh start. And look, the Most High has already figured this out for you. <laughs> it, you've already gotten it. That with this Ace of Wands and this Ace of Swords, you've already, you've already gotten it. One more for the outcome. Let's get one more card, one more tarot card. And I'll, I'll pull out some oracle cards too, I think. Yeah. Okay, so I'm feeling this, I feel this. Oh, wow. Okay, y'all, huh. All right, okay, okay, so this is Libra, you know, the moon is in Libra. The moon is moving into Scorpio over the weekend. So y'all be careful with your words. Um, try not to be too much of a private investigator. <laughs> the energy will be that way. The energy might make you feel like you're lying and I'm going to find out. Try not to go there, okay? Because what's going to happen in the end is you're going to have some peace and harmony with um, with the people that you're working with, okay? You have put in some very, very good work, hard work, and it's gone noticed. It is being noticed. So what's the reward? Peace and harmony. This is the two of cups. This is, to me, this is um, soulmate, you know, your loved one. The lovers came out before. Oh, look. <sighs> Five of Wands on the bottom. So just know that something, some kind of, you know, quarrel might be in the in the works. Yeah. Five of Five of Wands is that spar card that I feel is very, very necessary. We have to, um, if we want to get better, if we want to do better, we do have to have some sort of challenges. What would life be without challenges? Huh? Everything would be the same. I think some of the challenges that we have are, um, you know, that it's, it's heavy. You know, everybody has something that they're dealing with that's really, really heavy. And I don't really have an answer for that. I just know that if, if you stay true to yourself, I mean, that's really the best thing that you can do. What do they say? Um, they can take your body, but they can't take your mind. Not unless you give it to them willingly. And a lot of people are giving away their minds willingly. <laughs> Memories of love. Okay. This is interesting. Let me see what number this is. Six. Yeah. All right. So... This kind of goes along with this um, outcome card. Memories of love is kind of like nostalgia. It's kind of like the Six of Cups card. So really, you're probably going to be reminiscing, just remembering. Keep in mind what I said. Remember your why. What are you doing this for? Why are you, why are you doing this? Explore it. Take this time to journal. Because if you're focused on, you know, just 
uh, I'm bored. It's a gap in time and you're not being challenged. So remember why you love this thing or this person or whatever this endeavor is so that you can um, stoke that flame, get that back, you know? Because if you don't, it's gonna die out and it'll just be a distant memory. They will just be memories of love, you know? And I, I don't say that, that it's, it's bad to have memories of love. Oh, look at that. Movement choices and decisions. Choose the door. Which door? Which door do you go in? Which place in your body feels like it needs some work? If, you know, I'm, I'm really, really saying that. Which place in your body do you feel pain? And if it's in your, your head, for instance, like you're, you're stressed, you're, look, the Six of Swords, this is like the third eye energy. If you're vexed in your mind, you have to examine why. If that's where the pain is, go there. Don't spend your time trying to work out your body to get strong if it's in your mind, you know, because that's kind of working on the wrong thing. I'm not saying stop exercising. That's not what I'm saying. But if you're out of balance um, and you're, you're choosing not to, you know, focus on the things that you need to focus on, then you're, um, you're kind of doing yourself a disservice. So what am I saying here like this? I'm, I'm saying, where's this? Where do you feel the pain? Well, you have these centers in your body. So if you're feeling it here, this is your heart. That's your heart chakra. So what's going on? You know, what kind of trauma are you holding on to? What kind of distrust, dissatisfaction are you, you know, holding on to? If, if you're, you know, if you're getting, um, you're feeling insecure, what's going on there? If you're feeling choked, what is it that you're not expressing? What are you holding back? Some people are, you know, feeling it here in their neck because they're liars. <laughs> they are liars. There's no other way to say it. They can't tell the truth for the life of them. And so, you know, they're they're gonna have problems there with their with their throat chakra. So anyway, let's put that over there too. All right, let's get some more cards. Let's see how we're doing on time. Okay, got a few more minutes. We'll do some more. I hope that makes sense. I don't want to hurt anybody's feelings, um, but it's it's kind of necessary because look. This is heart chakra stuff, right? And the lion's gate portal, what did I say? You know, make sure that you're staying high, staying in your heart, in your throat, expressing yourself and love, expressing the truth and love, understanding, you know, things and just being at peace. So if there's something that is disturbing any of that, make sure that you are you know, doing your due diligence and working on these things. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's keep going. Y'all tell me what's coming in. What have you been working on? Is this family stuff? This could be business. This pinnacles, this pinnacles and fire. It really could be work. Some of you might be dissatisfied with your work. I know that there's a lot of companies that are um, requiring their workers to come back. And um, that might be a, a source of anxiety for a lot of people. I know a lot of people have not stopped. I hadn't stopped working. Um, but my situation is a little bit different. I don't have to be around people. so. Um, I just, I, I, I'm concerned 
I'm concerned for y'all, for all of us really, you know, because it's real out here. It's real out here. Ooh, oh, okay. The garden and the gate. So some of y'all are really unsatisfied. You're not really feeling it. You're in a good position, but you know that there's more. You know that there's more to, to, um, to life. But here's the thing that you have to re remember, okay? You don't want to be premature in your judgments because look at how lush her garden is. Look at how, you know, comfortable she is. But it's like she's thinking about being somewhere else, being elsewhere, thinking that the grass is greener elsewhere might not be the best thing to do. You know, it, it just... It just isn't all the time because the grass isn't greener <laughs> all the time elsewhere. Oh, I know what I want to do. I want to get a Moonology card. Give us some insights for the weekend. The garden and the the garden and the gate. The um the gate is is not locked. You're free to go, but you need to know if that's what you really want to do. Is it worth it? And in the end, you will determine that. You know, you will because you're. This is the time for examining, examining what's going on. And this outcome is beautiful. There's going to be some harmony. Um, somebody feels the same way as you do. Look, <laughs> I'm wearing my zebra shirt today, and uh, we have two zebras that are in harmony. <laughs> Of course I didn't plan this, but it's it's a nice representation. Oh wow, look, I didn't even see this on the bottom over here. Love begins. Yeah, okay, I'll take that. Okay. All right, I'm I'm hoping for all of the love, all of the success for all of you that are putting in the the good, good energy. Um, what was it last week? Ten of Pentacles, Legacy. So y'all are really doing some serious work. I've been connecting with other creators, and um, I love, 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 it's just love what they're doing. So I'm, I'm, you know, sending out good vibes and making um, intercessions for everyone. Fiery climax approaches. Full moon in Aries. Well, how about that? Look at this. All right, so um, this is action. This is, okay, so if you feel bored, you better, you know, take your rest, chill out as much as you possibly think that you need because it's about to get crunk. Things are about to start, you know, turning, the heat is gonna turn up. <laughs> so use your time wisely. You've done some great work. You're waiting for your ships to come in. Move away from anything, anything that might um, be a hindrance to what's coming in for you. And your person, obviously, because there's two people here. There's there's two people here, and this is taking a new, new, um, not really a new, definition it's just a little bit more this is you but your person is also going through this too has to because you're you're both in harmony so you can't just wait for somebody else to figure out the the answer for you you have to come to a conclusion and your your people have to come to conclusions as well and if you are standing in your power like last week or that other that last reading we had the emperor if you're standing in your power, yes, you will have um, some people on your team, some people that are closer than others, but make sure that you're on the same page. Y'all are, you know, hand in hand and you understand one another's um, emotions and the thought process and all that good stuff. All right. So this fiery climax is approaching. Could it be a baby? 
Some of y'all having babies? Congratulations if you are. All right, I'm gonna leave it there. Uh, y'all have a great, great weekend. If you'd like to book a personal reading with me, just go over to my website. Like I said, um, the queen of wands, tarot.com. Uh, book a reading or schedule a reading, something like that. I don't know why I can never remember that. But uh, yeah, uh, the schedule's there. Um, I have a few blog posts on the, on the website. Let's see what else. Yeah. All right, y'all. Much love. Namaste. Peace.